Are you happy, Judy? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Die for? Awesome. There we go. Hey, YouTube family, what's going on? Uh, today is uh, a very, very strange day. But we do have something actually pretty special. We, uh, we're actually doing some repairs around the house. Yep. As most of you know, uh, we really got hit by Hurricane Irma. Yep. And we've been actually fighting the insurance company. I mean, it's been one thing after another. And so for years, we have been fighting the insurance company to make it right so that we could do the repairs through our home. And we're getting close to the end of that. Yes. Uh, hopefully. The end is near. The end is near. So and we'll give you an update on that. But it, anyway, in the in, in the interim, because we can't do any fishing, but it's still beautiful out, we um, we recently uh, visited uh, your sister and our brother-in-law. Yep. Uh, he's an active duty Navy, uh, Tim, in uh, Oklahoma. And uh, he turned us on to uh, smoking meats. Yes. So uh, thanks a lot, Tim, for now I spent literally hundreds of dollars on a new smoker and all of its accoutrements. So we did a lot of research, and um, actually, Tim, I also had a master belt, so that's how it kind of started. And uh, all the research that I did, it looked like master belt seems to be the smoker of most professionals' choice. So that was kind of like why we, I selected that one. Plus, this was a decent deal. It wasn't terribly expensive. So I figured we'll give it a shot and see if we really love this. We could always you know, get a, a bigger one or a better one. Yeah, we have kind of like a middle of the road one. Uh, it's medium size, I would say, right? This isn't mm -hmm. huge, but it's not tiny. Because you can get pretty small ones, right? Yeah, you get real, real small ones. Yeah. So we have like middle of the road one. And ultimately, the goal here is um, we had, uh, when we were at my sister's house, what we tried, we had steak in it, two different cuts of beef, actually, and uh, pork. So we're going to first test out a pork butt, right? Yeah, yeah, pork butt. But then eventually, like, you've been doing a ton of research, right? Like, yep. chicken, it's kind of like sky's the limit. Chicken, um, I'm interested in fish, right? When we get fish that maybe isn't our favorite, it's like Wahoo will eat raw, and you can cook Wahoo anyway. But, you know, for things like mackerel that maybe is not my absolute favorite. It's a little fishy for us. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to throwing it in the smoker to see, you know, what what we could do as far as like fish dip, because I am in love with fish dip, and there's a yeah. ton of recipes out there. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. That's not going to thrill uh, our brother in law <laughs> because he is not a fish eater. But um, yeah, uh, we're really excited about yeah. different possibilities. Oh, and it's crazy. Hang on. Yeah, she bought a bunch of, uh, of pellets to try out with different kinds. Yeah, so, you know what? Amazon is such a wonderful thing, it right? Is. It's like a blessing and a curse to have this. But, so, um, I got this little pack, and I'll, we'll put the link down in the bio, but it's like a little, kind of like starter kit. There's a bunch of different flavors of smoke pellets, and this one I'm most interested in. So, apple, um, they said that's really good for fish. Yep. So, there's another one, too, um, they say it's good for fish, but... I'm looking forward to the apple. We got maple, hickory, I think uh, mesquite. There's like four other ones in here. So we're going to give it a try. These should be like, uh, what, one of these will fill up that Well, here, why don't you show them that thing? Because this is, this is pretty cool, too. This is like a whole, this is like a whole new toy, a whole new thing to play with. So this is what, a maze? Yeah. The box is over there. We'll oh. get the name of it. So it's called Amazing. <laughs> smoking products. It's amazing smoker maze. So you fill it up one time and it says you can smoke up to 12 hours. And I guess it, it cooks the pellets like evenly. Starts on one side, right? Isn't that how? Yeah, so deal? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it literally is a maze. And you put the pellets in here, depending on how long. So if you want to do a full 12 hours, you fill it all up. You There's a little hole right here where you start the pellets. And then it literally just burns throughout the maze the whole cooking time. So this way you're not constantly adding wood chips. So ah. Tim showed me that too. And it's this is seems like a really, really good idea. So we're gonna work with this too. Listen, this is a work in progress for us. Yeah, we're learning here. This is right I mean learning this is like A B C for us. So yeah. anyway. Alright, you know the deal. Follow us.
So we don't know what the tension is yet on this. We'll have to figure that once we set it up. Loosen it. And then we do this and this, and then when we get the right spot, then we tighten this nut down. Oh, that makes sense. We're gonna have a lot of extra of these on this. No, there's other places to put them. Yeah, we have to put that little bar on there. I think that's what helps you pull it back and push it forward. Oh, is that like a, like a handle? Yeah, like a handle. Oh, that's good. So far, I'm liking this. I am too. I like the way it came. I like the way it was packed. Pretty easy assembly. So far, no dents. I mean, you know, you know, sometimes you get stuff and it's so banged up when you get it. And then there's another one, right? There's a third. Yeah, on the other side of the wheel. Staying alive in my mind. We don't have a singing uh, channel. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I have zero subscribers. Ah, ah, stay alive. Stay alive. Yeah, oh my. I think I'll stick with fishing. Maybe cooking, we'll see. Okay, so I think we got that so far. Yeah, you get a new kid's toy or, you know, something. Do you follow the instructions or do you just go like for a hunt? it? Well, and like, like us, like we we were following the instructions, but not 100%. Then we got cocky. All right, let's get there. Okay. What's next? Back to the instructions. Okay. <laughs> uh, now we're supposed to slide the tray in. Now, now it's time for inside stuff. Okay. For the drip drips. For the drip drips. Okay. Now that goes back here. Okay, I see it. So it goes like so. Slide it over. There it is. It's in. So it just slides out, dump it, just slides right on. So it's got these two little brackets and then it has these two little holders. And this is pretty cool. So it's, I mean, easy. For me, it's all about the cleanup all the time. Yeah. And that, that'll be easy cleanup. Okay, so now we'll unpackage the cord and yeah. next up, next up is plug seasoning. it in. Yeah, they got avocado oil because this is, uh, it, won't, it won't burn uh, up to 500 degrees. And really what we want to do is burn out all the bad stuff that's in there. So just 
going to just kind of wipe it down gently. Not a, not a, not a big deal. But just to get all the parts away. Oof. It really stinks. It really does. See something. I'm gonna go down. They say go down is 80. That's zero. Uh, let's see, this would be temperature. Fahrenheit. 275. Alright. So we're up to 83 degrees, so it's it's starting to work. And uh, we have two minutes, two hours and fifty-eight minutes to go. So there we go. Ta -da! Ta -da -da! Great job. Now what? Great job, partner. Now we just let it go. And so it, it'll be seasoned when we're done. Now we're going to go upstairs and we're going to go season the first pork butt that we're ever going to try. We've got like smoke coming out and it stinks. Yeah, that's I it. mean, it's so like chemical smelling. So I totally understand why they want you to do that because this thing is like full of smoke and I can't imagine having that permeate into the food that you eat. So working so, like a champ. Working like a champ. All right, let's go. Okay, so what we are using today is a half of a bone-in pork butt. So this is uh, 5.34 pounds. And we got this from ButcherBox. Um, down here in the Keys, sometimes it's hard to consistently get uh, quality meat, even from Publix, which, you know, we love Publix. But So we order all of our meat from ButcherBox. Their whole deal is uh, all of it's certified humane and they make sure that there's no antibiotics and hormones and things like that. Um, all of their meat, even like uh, they have salmon and scallops, it's all um, sustainable. And they work with localized uh, farmers that have humane practices. So that's what we are going to use today. And Captain Dan is going to uh, season it and prep it up so that whenever we put it in the smoker, it is ready to roll. All right, so Elizabeth just showed you the cut of meat and where we got it from. And so I just trimmed it up a little bit um, based on everything that I've read and learned. It's like you don't want this big cap full of fat, so, but you do want some. And then there's like, um, I'm getting conflicting uh, uh, you know, opinions. Some people, they'll cook it with the fat down. Some people cook it with the fat up. So for those of you who also smoke meats, looking for any input that you have, um, have no idea how this is going to come out. I mean, this is a, a first-time deal, so... Uh, Patting it down to get it dry so the meat doesn't steam. And that looks pretty good there. So I'm just going to kind of put it, uh, actually, let me turn it around a little bit. I, I put down cellophane on my cutting board, which is a bamboo cutting board. And I put it uh, down here so I can wrap it up when I'm done for a little while to let all the spices that I'm going to use soak in. So here, here we go. Kind of simple. We're going to just start off with, uh, with some yellow mustard. And everything that, uh, again, that I've learned and have seen is the mustard doesn't really have a flavor at the end of all this. Uh, it just kind of serves as a binder for all of the other spices that we're going to use. I'm going to kind of rub it all around both sides. A little bit here. Just trying to use one hand. I'll make a total mess. Alright, there we go. That's enough of that. And then everyone else that, uh, that, that I've watched do this, now they have like their own special rubs, their own pork rub, and yada yada yada. So, my thing is always, uh, I, I use a liberal amount of garlic powder, not salt, but garlic powder all around. And then I always like uh, paprika. And you can use any kind of rub you want. Uh, you can buy it in the store, you can make it yourself. I just prefer to kind of do it my own so I know exactly what I'm putting on there, what I'm getting. And again, I've never smoked meat before, but I have barbecued it and slow cooked it uh, in a barbecue. So we've done that, but never, never like this before. Um, I'm gonna do a little pepper. God, this is gonna make a mess. Right, right now. ID. 
here. So, do a little pepper on there. This is something just to try. So just a little bit of local honey. Again, as used as a binder, probably should sweeten it up a little. So there, you can probably see that a little better. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of rub some brown sugar into it. And I love the way the brown sugar just kind of melts on there. So I would, I would think that, um, uh, that the mustard, the vinegar, must kind of probably tenderize this somewhat. And then the garlic is kind of self-explanatory because it's garlic. Everybody loves garlic. So this just actually starts to melt on there. Also, I understand it's mandatory. It's an actual requirement that you drink a beer when you're doing this. My Florida fishing couple uh, koozie. All right, that looks good so far. I'm gonna flip it, gotta get to the other side. Paprika. Kind of drizzle it down the sides. Got it a little bit. And some brown sugar. Kind of sweeten it up some, even some more. All right, I'm going both hands. That's it. We're going for it. Enough of that fiddling around. Get it in there. Get it in there. And again, I bet you there's a lot of you out there that have all sorts of tips and ideas. Uh, any of them is welcome. I want to try. Um, I'm going to try brisket next. So I think I think we're going to do this fat side down for our first try and see how that works out. But for now, I'm going to just wrap it up and um, I'm going to use a little bit more of the garlic powder. I'm going to wrap it up for a couple hours while the uh, smoker is. Still going through its initial phases. Um, when we're doing the, um, what do we call that? Seasoning the, the smoker. So we're in the middle of doing that. So we're going to wrap this up and just kind of keep it under wraps, if you will, <laughs> until uh, it's ready to go in the smoker. That looks great. It does look good, right? All right, that's it. That's that. Let's see the next phase. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Cooking can be messy, and that's okay. No problem with making a mess while you cook. Uh, but it's really important that you clean up because... <laughs> what happened here? It can be a disaster. And let me give you... What? An example. Uh -huh. This has like mustard <laughs> and meat juice on it. Oh, God. Yeah, it does kind of. And honey dripped down the whole entire thing. So here's... Um, you don't want that. Smoking meats is a dirty business. You don't want to put all this back in the cabinet the way it is. So uh, I highly recommend some Clorox or a, we're using Lysol wipes right now uh, so that you do not cross... I, I recommend a beer. So that you do not cross-contaminate everything in your kitchen with raw meat germs. So this entire thing of paper towels is now contaminated. I reconsidered. I'm not going to throw a whole thing of paper towels away just because this happened, but I am going to cut all this out because, I mean, not for nothing, but gross. Okay, now we just have some janky looking paper towels. And good as new. You gotta have a good partnership, right? I am much more of a clean freak 
I would say, than Captain Dan. But, uh, you know, he's got a method to his madness. So, I don't try to temper him making a mess. And he doesn't give me a hard time when I go crazy with the uh, cleaning. So, it works. Alright, so it's 11.30 at night. And we are going to uh, put the pellets in. And this is, uh, we're using hickory pellets. Well, it's like, like a whole thing full of pellets. So I learned to uh, not overlap the pellets. Because if you do, they, they could literally jump over and then burn themselves out earlier. The hickory. Alright, so now the next thing to do is to get these pellets fired up. Once they're on fire, are you going to pick it up with your bare hands to put it on the, the end of the thing? Yes, you know why? Because I'm Batman. Okay. No, I'm not going to do that. I have a glove here someplace. Is it underneath that rack right there on the top of the grill? It's probably underneath the rack. Oh, I just found it. So, first thing I want to do is light these. <laughs> All this is new, by the way. This whole thing is new. All right. It's good to me. I mean, I really like the whole idea of this. Oh, very cool. Alright. So. Alright, so I have to fire this little bad boy up. There it goes. Can you see the red in there? Yep, there it is. Now this takes a while to do, by the way. And then, when it does, it should go on fire. And I'm going to have to let it be on fire for a while. There we go. There we go. So we have to, oh, there comes the smoke. But it's not just the smoke. We have to get a flame going. You know what this is like? This reminds me of coals. Like when you um, put the either um, make some kind of fuel on the coals and get them going, it takes a while to get these things going. So just because they're smoking now does not mean anything. I need a flame. But there's so much wind out here tonight. I might be better off just putting these inside the smoker. Where there's no like heavy, heavy wind. You know what I mean? I'm just working great. Two thirty five. It's been in the fridge for three hours. More it's than that. 53 degrees. The meat right now. Our meat is 53 degrees. All right. I think our work is done here now. Time for us to go upstairs and have a drink. And then rest. All right. So we got this over Amazon too. It's called uh, Arilda. But uh, what, what the real deal is, is that the probe is in the meat right now. That's the temperature of the meat. And then when it hits 165 degrees, then we're going to take the meat and put it in tinfoil. And then get it up to 190 degrees, and then it'll be done. So this little remote thing is pretty cool because we can just kind of watch it all night. Okay, it's morning time. Captain Dan is still sleeping, but I want to come check it out. Okay, the meat's at 162. We have three hours and 20 minutes left, and it looks like internal temperature is 
231. You really can't see anything through the door, but it smells amazing. Ooh, look down there. Maybe you can see in there. It smells great. Yeah, so uh, it's uh, almost 10 o'clock in the morning. We put this in about, what, 11.30 last night? And so it's uh, at 165, I think. Seven. Oh, 167, which is fine, right? Yeah, 167. So now we're going to take it out. We're going to put some apple juice in the pan. And we're going to wrap it up with tinfoil. And then keep it going until it hits 190. I'm just excited, because, and I'm also a little apprehensive because it's for this one. So I'm like, yeah. but it smells freaking awesome. Doesn't, Doesn't it smell great? Okay, so like half a cup apple cider yeah. vinegar, half a cup of apple juice. The apple juice that we used is... Um, non-filtered organic so it's not from concentrate it's literally just pressed apples um so we're not getting all that sugar added in it's literally just apples there it is the unveiling okay here we go oh my gosh God, this looks freaking amazing all right i'm gonna take the probe out first it's still smoking believe it or not it looks to me like only half of the smoke is it went out. It never made the turn, did it? It never made the turn. Okay, that's it interesting. Okay. Wow. Yeah, pretty pretty awesome, right? So the question is, do we take it out and put it in tinfoil, or do we just? Uh, I think we take it out because out of all those drippings, and now those drippings are kind of burnt up. Yeah. So I think that we take, I think we take it out, put it on the foil, do the thing, and wrap it up tight in the foil. Okay. What do you think? I'm with you. 100%. You're going to seal it really well, right? There you go. Okay. That will definitely keep it from leaking out the way you're doing it. None on the other side? It's going to go across. Oh, okay. Oh, you're right. Man, look at you, babe. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's going to work here. Look at that. You're like the seal meister, man. You know what? It's from all the practice you have with the fish. Fish, that's right. Steaming up the it's fish, like making a little pocket. It's going right back in there. I can feel all the juices on the bottom there. Tim would be proud. Now, here's the deal. I'm going to try to avoid the bone. Okay, so it's in there. And one more time now, we're going to wait until it gets to be what? 190 to 200. Okay. And at that point, it will be done. All right, now we wait. Now we wait. This is supposed to be the hardest part, is the waiting. And then there's something called a stall that could happen, where it just stays at the same temperature for a long time, and then it finally spikes. So, it's just a waiting game now. If it does that, uh, are we supposed to turn up the temperature on no. the thing? No, it says no, don't avoid. The temptation of turning up the temperature. So, okay, all that's the right. Part for me. We dun, will see. Dun, dun, dun. Just got stuck here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never made the turn this way to come down. You hear that? Do you hear that? It is done. Done. 200 degrees. There it is. Man, oh man, it stalled for a little while. And now there it is. Clear that. Hit that. So now I think we just let it rest. What do you think? Sounds oh, good to me. Excited. Okay, so um, pork is done. We've got kind of everything set up. Um, we're having Sherry and Judy over. We miss you, Maddie. You've yeah, got to come back. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so our favorite neighbors, and one of them uh, got transferred. But anyway, uh, we're going to have Sherry and Judy over, and then Heiko and Caitlin. And we're going to have them be our taste testers. <laughs> right? It's like our first our smoked anything. So they're going to try it. We're going to get their... Um, honest, unbiased reaction. Um, so we've got everything set up. It's a little bit windy, so we're kind of over on the side of the house. But um, yeah, I'm pumped up. I excited? am too. I'm really excited. First, our it's first, a perfect our Sunday. First pork. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I meant that. That might be cut out. Ow. <laughs> anyway, um, we're excited to try it, and uh, yeah, yeah, cheers to uh, Sunday fun day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our impromptu table here. See that? Classy. This is Keys Classy right here, using a cardboard box as a table. That's right. We're going to um, put the...
pork in here and shred it up. Uh, basically, just use the grill as a serving area. And this is that um, apple juice I was talking about. So it's just fresh pressed juice. It's not from concentrate, and then um, it's organic. Whenever you look at it, see it just says uh, 10 to 12 organic apples in here. That's it, nothing else. So we're gonna um, kind of sauce it up once we do that with just a tiny bit of that, not a lot. And then you'll see here, we've uh, got the whole setup. <laughs> my handsome husband right over there. Oh my goodness! Oh, there's a Woody boy. Hi, Woody. I didn't have any idea. Oh, hey, hey Judy. Hey, Sherry. Hey. First thing coming out of the smoker. Here we go. All right. Took the probe out already. Oh, man. That good. All right. I'm just going to slide it in here, I think. Okay. Right. I'm just gonna let it sit there for a few minutes, right? Just okay. Rest it. Sure. Yeah. There's that Woody boy. There's that Woody boy. Hi. <laughs> Say hey, everybody. That's the, that's the test. You gotta pull. You gotta pull the bone first. <laughs> pull the bone. Pull the bone. Gotta pull that pork bone. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Here we go. It's still warm, so it's still hot. It's not like it's. Uh, yeah, it's a First time trial run right here. Here's the, like the bone. Grab this bone right there. Where's the bone? Right there. It looks like it's going to fall out. All right, it go ahead. Like, no, you do it. No, go ahead. You do it. It's hot. No, you do it. Oh, it is probably hot. Oh, you it's hot. Oh, my. Sharon, oh, it is hot. It's not coming right out. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It should just slide right out. There you go. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. I told you it's hot. I wasn't kidding. Oh, man, that bone's big. It's a huge bone. That's why you kept hitting it earlier. Oh, man, I was hitting it. There, look at that. That's oh. huge. Look how clean it is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's so hot. Right. Oh, that is so hot. Okay, congratulations on your first I think bone. we did. It. Woo! <laughs> uh, did you hear Judy? Congratulations. She says, on your, on your first, first bone. bone. I'm not a virgin anymore. Oh my gosh. Oh god, and it's on video. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. Damn, I miss old Maddie Poo today. Oh, I miss Maddie. 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 Alright, so there's, uh, there's all sorts of uh, stuff over here, so just load up. Okay. Alright, Should oh, I put any of this on it or not to bother? You should, I think you should take a tiny little piece out, take a taste, and see if it needs oh, it. Yeah. Right, oh, yeah. See. What does that do? Just apple. Yeah. I don't think it needs it. It's juicy. Oh, it's juicy, man. I think that's in case it's dry. Okay. I think that's in case it's dry. Okay. Good. Here we go. Okay. All right, everybody. There's rolls. There's um, okay. um, um, coleslaw we're going to bring out. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm, wow. I'm going to eat the okay. coleslaw. We have got chips. We have two different kinds of barbecue, plus we have hot sauce. And oh. Whoa. So truth talk, you if it sucked, yeah, you have to say it sucked. Oh, so his, so his plate is empty. Yeah. Leave something out. Oh, yeah. It was perfect. Yeah. Honestly, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. all right, gals, oh, love it, hate it. Absolutely. We need honesty. No, no, you happy, Judy? Absolutely. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Okay, we gotta try some. Oh my God. Oh yay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my. Amazing. Okay. All right, Danny. Mm -hmm. Oh, how was the pee wash sauce? Oh my god. Really? Oh, it's really good. Really good. Oh, really? Yeah. We never yeah, had it before. It. We just tried it. I love it. It's did you use the pilar sauce or did you use the mustard I sauce, Heiko? I used the pilar, but I really like the mustard. I didn't oh, try really? it. Really? I didn't try the mustard. Well, in general. Mm -hmm. yeah. In general, me too. I'm like a mustard kind of gal. You are, yeah. I have no idea if it's mustardy. I just, it said mustard sauce, zero sugar added. So I was like, hey, that sounds like me. No sugar, oh, no mustard, sugar. double yay for me. Okay, for you're going for it. All right, you have to be truthful. Mm -hmm. No, oh my. no joking. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you did like a suicide with the mm -hmm. with the <laughs> coleslaw on the sandwich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you? What do you think? Oh, this sucks. <laughs> wow, this is really freaking good. You happy? Okay, I'm happy with it. Was yeah. it worth the time, effort, energy, thousands frustration, of thousands of dollars just <laughs> taken to get us here? No, it's really good. Listen, this is like a seven seventy dollar sandwich. Take a bite of that, but you won't. I know. Oh, you I will won't. not take a bite of that. No. Okay. Two, uh, two, two. Two. All right, ladies. Time to tell. Two die for. Two die. Two die for. 
Awesome. There we go. Have to awesome. You did a great job, babe. Sherry? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Judy, Judy, Judy in the background. Yeah, all right, cool. Here's the thing. Uh, we did a mustard sauce and a, the, that Pilar sauce. Mm -hmm. Both are exceptional. I like them together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you mix yeah. them up. <laughs> yeah. cool. Here's the thing. You did great, babe. Thank I'm, you. Yeah, this I'm is proud of you. This is, this is great. And now, despite the hard time I gave you, this is worth the investment because it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. See that? All right. <laughs> Acknowledgement. Like trash. Acknowledgement. <laughs> If it wasn't this good, then you'd be in trouble. But I hear you. This is great. All right, good deal. Well, I'm happy with it too. So, all right, thanks, thanks to Tim, thanks Tim for you know turning me on to this. So, all right, bro. You are the best subscribers ever. Absolutely. And uh, we love you so much. Thank you so much for following our new adventures with this smoker. More recipes to come with things like uh, fish, fish, fish recipes yes. coming soon for sure. But uh, listen, smokers where it's at. Look <laughs> at this guy. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Oh he's like, oh, he's doing like, he's like doing like the real suicide wow. over there. All right, everybody. All right, good deal. You know what to All do. Right. Awesome. Follow, Follow us. us. Oh my god. I have no idea. Tim, this is me not. Where are you, Tim? We need you, Tim. It's 124 degrees inside the smoker. It's about 193 degrees inside my lungs. All right, everybody. Right. Thanks so much. We love you. You're great subscribers. And, uh, oh. You can't follow us. I'm going over there by myself. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, everybody. Thank you so much for oh, subscribing. Shit. I'm going to kill you. <laughs>